Anthony, change is coming to MLK Park, and many hope that difference translates into the community. Demolition at the historic Martin Luther King Jr. Park is underway. And though many are happy the city is giving the park the attention it so desperately needs, change is not easy. It kind of bothers me sometimes, but I'm glad they're rebuilding something new. But they're tearing down everything that was already hysterical over here. Ricky Hester has been going to MLK Park all his life and was thrown when he saw the first building to go was the Veterans Building. That was a post for local black veterans who weren't always welcomed in other parts of the city. We used to go there little kids when I was here. Now, it was black, it was people up there, you see they pictures, you don't see nothing around here like that no more. Hester isn't the only one wrapping their head around the change, so is Lavina Brown. It took them a long time to come do this, and then, like, you never know, they might just come try to destroy it again. According to the city's plan, renovating MLK Park is an important first step in revitalizing the local community. A community that Brown says is ridden with homelessness and poverty that finds its way to the park. It's hard for people to bring bring their kids to a park to where they're scared. They can't even take their off for a second because they got like dogs, you know, running straight, you know, and then can't go into the bathroom because there's people in the bathroom that's not supposed to be in there. All are anxious to see what the park will look like, but both say they hope the revitalization makes the park better for future generations. A place where you could just come bring your family, have picnics and stuff like that. You can enjoy yourself, you know, have a little family time. I feel good, even I probably want me and to myself. They want the kids to fill in the future. For more details on the project so far, go to KGT.com. Michaela Armstrong, 17 News.